let's just summarize what we're going to be talking about. Mm -hmm. So we will be talking about, you know, social media and, and reels yeah. and stories. Yeah. And different social media things. Yeah, like, Instagram you know, and TikTok. Instagram yeah. and TikTok. Tough. Then we're going to be talking about... Um, so remember when I said about the introduction, how I'm going to talk about? Yeah. So that was the introduction. Welcome to the channel, <laughs> Suti. Uh, I'm happy to be here, Ellen. Yeah. Having me. Yeah. So there you go. So uh, the big thing nowadays is social media. Yeah, it is. So you're an interesting person. Thank you. We see you in our office and uh, I follow you on social media myself. Yeah. And uh, your, your new uh, program and your new uh, social media uh, company, your CEO, what's the name? Uh, it's Adverb. Okay. And uh, the slogan for my company is Impact Unleashed. Okay. It means like, I learned it from Rick. Uh, the day I met Rick, he always says that the reason why he has legacy leaders is because he had to keep a legacy. Sure. And uh, he wanted to build a legacy. So my thing, why I have it, Impact Unleashed, is like social media has become a platform where people do really good things. Yes. And you can actually impact someone's life through social media. So I had Impact Unleashed because I want my clients to impact someone's life through their content. And I also want to impact someone's life through my agency. So, so when you say social media, yeah, how important is it to have a social media nowadays? It's extremely important. It's extremely important. Can you go a day without drinking water? No, it's yes. the same thing. So you cannot live uh, without being on social media. Like people from teenagers to people who are in sure. their 80s always use social media. Mm -hmm. People don't use Google anymore. I myself don't go to Google and type for a, a, you know, like a saloon or a real estate company. I go and see what kind of social media presence they have. Uh, let's say TikTok and let's say Instagram, what they've done in the past and how they've helped their clients. So social media is actually very, very, very important, especially for realtors. And, and, and I find like it like this is our business card yeah amplified exactly you know what i mean like yeah. because you can show your work you can yeah. show your persona personality you personality. can show what you do and how you do it yeah so i think um like like i remember when i want to start in this business and from back in the day also like showing a business card like we were very particular like where the logo goes and how it goes but nowadays, like, I don't know how many business cards I gave out. Like, I, you know, for a couple a year, maybe. Business card is right? just bookmarks these days. Exactly. Yeah. Right? So, and, and, and you mentioned Google. So, I, I believe that also Google um, is obviously implementing all these social media platforms. Yeah. And that's how you can actually, even if you type in, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a name or a company and stuff like that, you will have all these social media platforms uh -huh. pop up, yeah. even on Google. Yeah. And that gives more, yeah. um, I would say, uh, security or, or more exposure, uh, exposure right? Like that's, yeah. that's the right word. Yeah. So what is it you actually do? Like, I mean, like um, w when you say social media, that's, that's basically branding. Branding, personal branding. So how I started my business is I just started creating content, like video content sure. for my clients. But now that I have my agency, what I'm, how I'm going to help my clients is like, we're going to do content creation. We're going to do personal branding. We're going to do website creation. We're also going to create um, graphic designing for all the realtors for their for sale banners or for sold banners, anything that's related to so uh, it helps. I will tell you of what it always helps. So like, everything that's related to real estate marketing is what Adverb is gonna, you know, help with my clients and potential realtors too. So have you had any names? I mean, I mean, I, I know you've been around, mm -hmm. but but have you have any names that you can tell me right now that you have, you have done social media for? At the yeah, moment. I've helped uh, my mentor, who is very dear to my heart, John Tsai. John uh, Tsai yeah. He's the president of EXP. Um, yeah. I started, you know, helping him from this April only, which I didn't really manifest so that I wanted to work with him. So right. uh, I shot content for him when he, whenever he's in Toronto and he's, of course. Uh, he's doing his events. I sh me and my team shoot contents and we edit videos for him. Sure. And then... Uh, I've helped Rick as well, Rick Dillon. Yep. So it's another mentor of mine yes. who I actually look up to. And I also have a dear friend of mine, Salwa. 
Mm -hmm. uh, Salwa and Verily, you can see her in uh, Instagram. She's doing a really, really good job and I have helped her for a year now. Oh, that's amazing. She is my, she's one of my first clients when I first started. That, like, 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 it's always interesting, like having, uh, like, like having those clients and having that, like, like you, 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 you basically see it grow yeah. and you see it manifest. Like manifest. you see more subscribers, you see more views, you see that they're gain, gaining more popularity yeah. on social yeah. media and yeah. stuff like that. And, and, and we, I, I, I personally cannot stress that enough yeah. how important that is yeah. to be constantly uh, on the platform, yeah. in front of a lens, in oh, front, yeah. you know, in front of people, right? Mm -hmm. Because how many people can you reach uh, a day being only you? Exactly. Five, 10, ten, 20, 50? That's what I tell people. When people complain that, oh, I don't have enough views, my reels are not crossing more than 1,000 uh, views. But when they actually see 1,000 people in front of their house or in their area, like imagine that's a huge huge amount of people so instead of just complaining that my reels are not reaching just be happy that it actually reached thousand people because those thousand people are actually consistently watching your content and looking forward to what you're going to post next so john sai you, you mentioned his name from uh, exp do you know his following at the moment on instagram i think he's reached 100k and how he reached 100k is like i've seen one of his reels that went, uh, got him 2 million for, uh, views. Right. Um, so, like, it's, it went viral. It that's, went that's really that, yeah. viral because I don't know what happened. People started making controversial comments. You know, people, sure. realtors from India mocking him. And then that gave him more engagement. And that real went really viral. Like, getting 2 million views on Instagram reels is such a huge deal. It's a huge deal, yeah. Uh, and then I saw his followers going from, 75k 80k and then he reached 100k within just few weeks so you having said that uh let me just tap into something that uh, i'm sure the viewers want to know and and obviously people that have these accounts or that are trying or they're itching uh what to do yeah buying fake followers oh my god <laughs> that's one of the worst things that you can actually do to your uh social media account what happens is... I, what are the downfalls? I mean, like, let's just get into that. <laughs> okay, downfalls is like, number one, now that all the social media plans, platforms have AI inbuilt with Integrated, them, yeah. So what happens is like, when they see these bot followers, bot followers something like fake accounts. Sure. A lot of companies create fake accounts just so you can have bot followers, just to see you have a lot of followers. So if those accounts don't engage with your content, these AIs that Instagram has inbuilt with them, they will remove the accounts that are actually not engaging Eliminate with. Them. Yeah, they're not engaging with you, so they're gonna remove it. Or what happens is they shadow ban your account, so you can never get your account back. Wow, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. So, so basically, those those bot accounts are not engaging with your with with your account. Yeah. And then there's obviously no benefit if no nobody's benefit. engaging. No benefit. Right. Yeah. So it's it's just like a visual ego. Thing, seeing exactly. a particular number yeah right so, so people when they start on social media and they start creating content they see themselves as an influencer rather than being as a brand like i sure. would i would suggest people like especially realtors and entrepreneurs to look at themselves as a personal brand rather than competing with others that they are an influencer influencer is that uh they think that i need more followers so people respect me but the thing is like if you buy 10,000 fake followers, only 1,000 people would real people know you. So why not just keep those 1,000 people instead of just showing off that you have 10,000 followers? You can literally see if a person have fake followers, like an account might have 10,000 followers, but their reels might be, reels views might be like triple digit less than 1,000 views. And what's the point of it? Like now even kids can identify if you have fake followers. So is there a golden rule between, uh, between subscribers? Mm -hmm. And, and the actual engage, engagement on reels. Yeah. So for typically your engagement rate should be 40% when it comes to Instagram, which means that uh, the number of followers that you have, at least 40% of your followers should have engaged. At least they could have viewed your reels, they could have liked, shared and liked your, to you know, it, yeah. like shared, commented on your post. That's literally what engagement means. So if that 
uh, if you have 10,000, if only like, you know, 40% is nothing, your only real fol- followers are going to engage with your reels. They're going to view your reels. And right. it literally shows that it doesn't look good for people because anyone can identify fake followers these days. Right. Yeah. So, so uh, th- there are obviously a couple of platforms yeah. we're dealing with, like yeah. more than a couple. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, is it a wise idea, a smart idea, or are there differences in um, engaging with audience on different platforms? So, as an example, from TikTok into Instagram to Facebook to YouTube and stuff like that, like, yeah. or do you just create content and you basically just Post it. Flash it all, all across all the platforms the same. Yeah, yeah. So what I would is say, there a strategy? Like, yeah, the question is strategy. Like that's a good question because uh, a lot of uh, I also advise my clients let's shoot one video, sure. post it everywhere. Okay. But then you, there is a different time to post in different platforms. So you can't just because yep. you have a video doesn't mean that you have to post at the same time. If let's say for um, Instagram it's three p.m. today, but for TikTok it's going to be 2 a.m. or it's going to be oh, like wow. 9 a.m. So you can post at the same time in a- every platform. It has to be different because different generation of audiences are engaging on different kind of platforms. For example, it's all Gen Z's on TikTok. And then the younger generation and the Gen Z's are always on TikTok. And um, so if you see Gen Z's, you said TikTok before going to school, after coming back from school oh, and before going to sleep. So that's the typical time that you have to post. But with Instagram and Facebook, it's all millennials. So we millennials, what we do, we use our Instagram when we're eating lunch, 2 a.m., 2 p.m., 1 p.m., and before going to sleep or before taking a shower. So every single platform has... Some to- good nuggets right here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So of people. course. So you have to post at different times at different platforms. And there are different strategies like... Of course, you have to engage. I always tell people there's a small strategy that not a lot of um, real estate means or Instagram coaches tell people is that every time you get a comment on your Instagram or TikTok, what you have to do is this reply right away. Don't like it. Like what we usually do is like if we get a comment, we, just we like. like it and then we comment back. Let's say like interesting post, nice insights. I love your post. And what we do, we like it and we comment right away. That, right. So, what's the right thing to do now? Like, the right thing to do <laughs> okay. is like if you're someone who's posting consistently, what I would recommend is to be on top of your um, follower speed. Is like if you get a comment, reply to the comment right away, but don't like it. Like it half an hour before you're gonna post your next reel, so that when it happens, when you post a new reel, okay, you're gonna be on top of your followers feed. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, okay, okay. So. So by hiring you yeah. to manage that yeah. that whole social media posts and yeah. times and and div- so do you also shoot content for yeah. clients? Yeah. So we typically what we do in AdWorb is we shoot a month's worth of content on the same day. We do scripting for the clients. Like if people who have never been in front of the camera, we train them yeah. uh, how to like, we have a training session where how to make them feel content in front of the camera. And then I write the scripts individually. People say just use chat GPT. What I do is I, I search on Google. I search every single topic and what a specific niche that my client is going to sure, narrow it down. Yeah. I narrow it down. I write the script myself because every single platform has different kind of way to speak. It has hook, it has content, it has CTA. So I write the script accordingly. We shoot content on a specific day and uh, we give them a content calendar with the videos, captions and hashtags for each and single pla- every single platform because you can't use the same hashtags you use on Instagram. You have to use a different kind of hashtags on TikTok. It's a whole like like that's like can of worms now. Like exactly. Like, so that's that's so interesting, right? Like so that that every platform yeah. has a different way strategy, strategy feel. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And engagement. Yeah. Time. Time. Um. We. Yeah. How, how how you can engage and stuff like that. So 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 uh, you being the CEO of yeah. this company, mm-hmm. um. Do, or do do you guys have any plans like like you know so one month like you you can hire you for a yeah, month for a month 
with an X amount of yeah, we do. posts or, we do. or how, 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 how do you do it or annual subscription or how does it work? Um, so what I typically do is for people is with just three months subscription subscription in the beginning because I want them to feel comfortable for three months because a lot of realtors now that the market is too low, I'm just going to be honest. I know the market is sometimes it's, uh, you know, up, up and down, on, up and course. down. And there are a few, I always focus on new realtors because I always want to help people who are just starting in the business, just like to see that growth, the growth that. because it kind of gives me a happiness to see how they're growing from the bottom. And then I always give them only three months subscription because they have to pay me how much they can afford. They can, I, yeah, they cannot promise a year subscription with me. So three months subscription is always the best for them and for me as well. And plus it, it, it allows some time because like, you know, being on social media and on some of these platforms, most of the time, okay, yeah. okay, most of the time it's challenging. It's lonely. You're looking at these numbers. You're like, why? I this know. is such great content. I know. Why didn't it go viral? Oh, I like, you know what I mean. I always tell some people like, when you post your content, when you like, right after you post your content, always. Imagine that your Instagram Reels or TikTok is your ex. Some ex, the, your ex yeah. don't even care. Yes. Just post it and then just don't even look at the numbers yes. because the numbers are not going to bring you business. Maybe the uh, you know you might become an influencer, a lot of things, but still, even though social media is very important, those numbers doesn't bring you business. Maybe you will reach a lot of people. Uh, you will reach 10,000 followers. You might get even uh, like 100K followers, but sure. still you have to do old fashioned way of business. Yes. So you can't just rely only on Instagram reels uh, of don't just, you know, have a relationship or have an attachment with numbers. Of course, you need really good social media presence. Forget the numbers. That's all I'll say. Yeah. Well, yeah, you, 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 you said it in, in a nutshell and, and I do. Me personally, I do believe that. So, yeah. so we still have to perform our business exactly. uh, as, as, as usual, but it just gives us an opportunity to have like a business card on steroids. Exactly. It business card on steroids is a really good way of saying it. Yeah. Yeah. So is there any questions you want to ask me? I want to like, ask you like, <laughs> I see you doing podcasts. I always want to ask you like, what actually pushed you? to start a podcast and you've been doing it really really consistent because i a lot of people just give give up right away if they you know they don't see views like you said they oh don't my get. god it's uh how you like 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 my primary my primary focus was like how can i put something on camera mm -hmm. and how can i just distribute it to the network yeah and then I found out with like, you know, friends and colleagues and some, some other agents, they, some of them don't have the funds, some of them do, yeah. but, but they don't have the time mm -hmm. or they don't have the know-how. Yeah. Because how? there's, there's lots involved, like yeah. cameras, lenses, microphones. A huge investment. Uh, computers, softwares, yeah. and then you need the knowledge, how you're going to do that, how you're going to put it, I, like, like it's time consuming and all of that stuff. So. I just figured, I'm like, listen, I want to do something. Mm -hmm. uh, it's basically giving it back. Yeah. Like there's a mutual benefit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, and the benefit is also me being in, 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 in the frame and me talking and it gives me satisfaction, right? Mm -hmm. Because we are growing something together. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So uh, the number one goal, I would say, if one person mm -hmm. out of a thousand videos yeah ten thousand videos or a hundred thousand videos it doesn't number it doesn't matter the number mm -hmm. if one person whether it's today or 100 years from today yeah yeah comes and says look you inspired me to do it exactly you because of this this and this and this happened in a positive manner mm -hmm. i would be happy yeah because hopefully. all of this that's what I. It's said. because of that. That's what I said. Impact unleashed. You make, you're gonna make a huge impact in someone's life, and you're gonna inspire them to become who they want. That's the goal. Yeah. And that's the goal. So so circling back to the social media, I mm -hmm. think this is the core. Yeah. Of social media, inspiring other viewers, mm -hmm. subscribers, uh, and followers to actually just 
start looking at your content yeah. and start communicating and and maybe one day becoming the part of your ecosystem. Exactly. So it's not always a sale. No. You know, I have thousands of subscribers, I'm gonna get a sale, I'm gonna no. sell this and that. No. I'm not even worried about that. No. But it feels good that, you know, you get lead. a person yeah. that I don't even know yeah. Yeah. from the US, across the sea, India, mm -hmm. Europe, you name it. They comment and they say, hey, good job. Yeah. I like. That I, makes you feel really I like good. the speaker you brought in. Good content. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Like, I don't even know this person. But it makes it, it, it feels really good when it's true. But you know what happens? Yeah. Then I go back. Yeah. And then I look at their content. Nice. Right? Yeah. So then I look at their content. Yeah. And then by looking at their content, I'm like, okay. So now I see why. Yeah. Because what, how they were commenting on my content content mm -hmm. i see that sincerity mm -hmm. by looking at their content yeah i get it because we talked about the fake followers fake we followers. talk about right yeah yeah so if someone is commenting sincerely mm -hmm. and you can it comes from their heart, heart. of that post yeah yeah and you go to their feed feed yeah and it doesn't make any sense no yeah they're like okay it's like it it's almost fake fake right like yeah. it's a fake energy there are people who just comment just for the i'm sorry and there are people who just comment just to increase engagement Engage, engagement they, you can see that same person commenting on a lot of profile like great content keep it up that's not from the bottom of your heart yes if i see rick posting uh a reel which he's been doing really good lately yes. i comment on it because i know that it is coming from his bottom of my heart and I know like my mentor is saying something really valuable to yes. to the people. To the masses, to the content. To the yeah. people. And I genuinely commented it's an amazing content, like whatever you said is right. But I don't want people to just comment because you want to engage you know, increase your engagement, you want to increase your followers. Don't be fake. So so having said that, there's the, the, there's another point I wanna to touch on. Like mm -hmm. I feel that that people that are let's say successful or, yeah. or they're doing that like by all means it's not an easy path yeah like you have to be disciplined you have to be consistent you have to learn all the time yeah in order to just push another subscriber another viewer yeah. another 10 views you know like i know right so in the beginning you're like okay so i'm gonna have ten thousand. but now like as, as as you have more experience yeah. and you as you're like you know you invested a little bit in it you're like okay so I understand how it works and it's 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 important for me to say this like like even in this office and and, and here like i know rick might be shooting a reel right here with the camera i'm walking with my camera uh, uh filming a content with with somebody here but everybody gets along because we yeah. all are here to help each other grow to share to like to subscribe to and 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 i'm happy to see that that someone else is doing this stuff while I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, and it feels relatable. But these people that are not in that space, it's is like all I almost feel one. It's either they don't understand. Yeah. Or two, they're like it's useless. Mm -hmm. Or like, and, and that's this is one of the, those reasons where it's like okay, you have never been on camera. Let's go right now. So right, like yeah. let's just go. Just, right? just so call. maybe one day, who knows? Like they get big, they get small. It's not even the point. Yeah. But you have to open up that portal mm -hmm. of that future content because yeah. this is what it's going to be all this about in business and 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 everywhere. Yeah, I can't stress enough like how important it is to have a social media present and also to build your personal brand. Building your personal brand, like a lot of people have a misconception thinking that you have to use specific colors, you have to use this no. kind of a, a graphic. No, personal brand is something, I've also done this mistake in the past where I never posted anything that's related to my personality, what I like. But when I started posting about me going to the gym, me going out for a people walk. People want to see you. People want to see us. You want to yes. feel relatable. They want to know what exactly Elia is doing, what yes. exactly is Shruti doing. So it, that's how you build a personal brand and you have to feel relatable and that's how you actually are going to go viral and you go have more followers. That's exactly the point. Be yourself. You. Yeah. That's, that's the best way of growing yeah. anything yeah. if it's sincerely you. Yeah. If you're faking it. People will know it. 
whether they know it or not, but they feel it. It's like, oh, it's, it's off. I know, right? I know. Even like the person who was faking it is not going to be able to do it for a long time. He's going to yeah, get worn out. Too. Yes, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Suti, thank you so of much. Course, thank you for I having appreciate the podcast. It. I appreciate you, thank you seeing you around. So everyone, uh, please follow, subscribe. And uh, this is great content for all of you. If you have uh, any more questions, please comment below. Thank Suti you. for you. Thank you.